for me, I can't really separate myself from who I am. I think I'm already an interesting character. I don't I don't need to like make up something to make myself interesting. I think I'm already really plenty interesting enough as it is. I, I'm I'm just honestly authentically a real magical girl, I think. And to think uh, we can already consider you a Renaissance woman. Hey guys, Jayagone with Keepsakes. Welcome to the show. Imagine living your dreams as a magical girl who transcends dimensions. Singing, streaming, creating art, hosting events, basically being everywhere. You can make that happen because our guest for this episode did so. An artist, animator, streamer, cosplayer, voice actress, idol, and VTuber. Lahat na! Fifth Dimension, Magical Girl, Kira Kira Kat, joins us on this episode. Our guest in this episode, the 99th episode, ladies and gentlemen, one and only, Kira Kira Cat. Let's go! Yeah, hello! Kira Kira Cat here, your favorite fifth dimensional magical girl. Yeah! <laughs> It's really nice to see you here, and you're you're in the galaxy. Uh, should I say it like like um, some character from Love Life uh, Superstar? No, galaxy, <laughs> galaxy. <laughs> yeah, Hian Sumire based. So yeah, okay. So let's start uh, our episode first and foremost. I introduced you as a fifth dimension anime girl, or sorry, magical girl. <laughs> <laughs> so yon eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I made a Freudian slip when I told you you are just an anime girl. So how? What are the fifth dimensions? <laughs> so, so you know how there is a theory that there, basically the universe is a simulation and God is basically playing The Sims. So basically, my ca- my character lore is that I, I slide between dimensions between the between this 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 dimension with three D. Where all of the VTubers are real to 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 my IRL self, which is by the computer playing Sims with everybody, you know. It's kind of like in a sense if you think about like Suzumi Haruhi, who is a very in- big inspiration of mine, mm. or like um, uh, SSSS Gridman's Akanecha. Oh. So it's kind of sort of like that. Since I am a viral streamer or VIRL streamer, as like my friend Bananiel likes to call it, uh, I, I I do have an IRL self that can seamlessly be also my VTubing self. So basically, my VTuber is basically just me. Mm. So you know, kami nanda yo, kami, kami. <laughs> so yeah, uh, okay, so. Let's let's explore that uh, fifth dimension or the five dimensions, the best of five worlds. Dilong five, the multiverse po, the multiverse. Parang the... Spider Man lang yan. I spoilers ba yun? Hindi. Multiverse ano? Yeah, isn't that the title of the movie anyway? But yeah, no, because it's like in, in, in like quantum physics and things like that. There's mm. a concept where we live in the third dimension. The fourth dimension is time. And, you know, everything compassing after that time is also the fifth dimension. So it's like, in a sense, there are beings in, in the universe that are like you know, aliens or something that are beyond our realm of reasoning or like how Thor says it ma- magic is just basically a higher form of science that we don't understand which is why I'm a fifth dimensional magical girl science because I like science but science. also magic hi so you know science science <laughs> so yeah in, in that regard when you say na you, you well well le- Maybe we will explore the origins of these five dimensions on this discussion. And uh, okay, so yeah, let's let's start with the beginning. In the beginning, there was light, <laughs> and in and this light, what is the light that made you realize that you got into this anime community? How how do you, share to us how you got into the anime community? Okay, so back back when I was a tiny 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 girl um i used to be i I used to be a lonely weeb like anybody else you know like Mm. liking anime getting bullied at school it's like what other people like anime excuse me and then i found a senpai of mine 
And uh, she was like, you should attend anime conventions. And back then was the year 2005. <laughs> That's where they had where they had the first Hatao Hanaf Hero convention and I didn't attend that one actually. I huh. started going to I started with Ozine Fest, I hmm. think. I think it was a December con, but the end of the year, Sha. It was after Hatao Hanap Hero. And then that was my first ever anime convention. It was in Robinson's Galleria. And then I distinctly remember being there and just being wowed by the fact that, wow, there are other weirdos like me. Look, those weirdos are dressing up like they're anime characters. I get to talk about anime facts and stuff like that and get prizes and get merchandise. This is magic. So something like that, basically. <laughs> so in that regard, I was counting the years earlier. I started in this community around 2000 into 2010. Well, 2010 is the prime time, I know. So in that case, five years after you realized the light, I also realized the light. And Ozine Fest is no longer held at Robinson's Galleria. Yeah, no, definitely not. I think at the time it would have been Mega Mall already. No? Yeah, Mega Mall. The Mega Trade Hall, yes. The ever Sorry. famous Mega Trade Hall, the center of EDSA North and South. Yes. Fight yung, me. <laughs> yung, 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 yung parang, well, I mean, technically, since tiga south ako, I would beg to differ, honestly. <laughs> Feeling ko makata yung actually center. Kasi naman, pag-iisipan mo pa yung, yung, yung laki at lawak na mga syudad, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, but it's okay, I'm a magical girl, I can teleport there effortlessly. Ha? Huh? <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Mm -mm. So, remin reminiscing the, the anime community at that time, ano, uh, what would me um, eventually you became a host for stage programs how did you started with that like i mean i'm interested oh. with your ori uh, with that origin okay so um medyo, medyo malaking, malaking jump po yon okay so uh back then like around 20 13 2012 ish like i i started cosplaying wait like backtrack even more i started cosplaying around december 2006 my first ever cosplay was roy mustang and ever since then i've had a really lovely time with this hobby called cosplaying for those of you who might not know it's being your favorite character and also acting as like your favorite character guys you need the heart you don't just have the outfit you also have the character <laughs> All right, that's why it's called cosplay. It's like costume role play. Anyway, so yeah, and then fast forward, mga 2013-ish, uh, I joined Animax's DJ DJ Hunt. Mm -hmm. And I think the uh, Alodio is still with them at the time. Yes. And it had saw big uh, influencers right now called like Ian Mercado and... Rihanna Floresca. Yeah. I think she was the one that won actually yes, yes. for that competition. And Maron so Cruz. Yeah, and Marin was there too. Mm -hmm. Hi, Marin, and and a lot of a lot of really interesting people uh, were there as finalists. Actually, the funny the funny story about that is, I uh, Chiena was supposed to be in it. She backed out. They mm -hmm. called me. <laughs> that that was kind of how I got in. I Chiena, didn't really. Chiena yeah, Filomeno. That, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I didn't really make it to like the. I didn't really win. Rihanna won. Um, sorry, whenever I see when people say Rihanna, I was like, when the sun shines, we shine together. You're not alone. <laughs> You're not alone. You're definitely I'm so not sorry. alone. I'm so sorry. But mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's. I, I'm just a musical person. I just can't help the song and the singing and the ah. Anyway, so yeah. Um, at the time, they contacted me. Because they remembered me from that DJ hunt and it was like, hey, Kat, would you like to host events? Because I had, I, I had been hosting events since forever, actually. Like, um, it started with, with stuff in college. And then eventually we had our own Hetalia days. And since I organized Hetalia Day, somebody needed to host the event. And that was me. So based off that experience, my first ever solid anime convention I hosted was Made to Travel in Baguio, mm -hmm. where I went with Jin and friends and Sammy. Hi, Sammy, who was organizing the event. Thank you, Sammy Magsina. Hi, friend. And um, so we had a really fun time there in Baguio. And, you know, we were hosting the event. And I was mentored by a friend of mine at the time. And they were also an event host. And that's kind of how I started wiggling into it. I also did Voca Fusion. 
mm-hmm. Book of Vision mm-hmm. was uh, something that I actually organized with my senpai from the Utaite community. Uh, little did people know. Uh, it was a really fun event. And I got to host that event as well. I think everything was around the same time. So that's when I started hosting things. But then I, it wasn't till I got with Animax that I started hosting for Cosmania, BOA. And that's kind of at that time, since they needed a host also for their school tours. And um, also say hi, a special hi to Tony Bell from, from Animax and Mom Carla. Yeah. Uh, uh, who actually got me into these these events, and it was such a magical experience from coming from being a simple a, a lay a lay person, a plebeian at conventions to cosplaying at conventions and eventually hosting them because you see everything behind the stage. Distinctly, I have a fond memory of being backstage and seeing glorious goddess Pyla stretching. I knew, I know, <laughs> I know. I know that's something that not everybody sees, but I'm just, I was just like, Tomato Mackie is my favorite girl from Love Live, okay? So seeing her say you backstage is stretching was just like a dream to me. And I was just like, ah! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was an experience. Also, another fond memory that I had uh, hosting anime conventions was when uh, Ladybeard came over since I got to interview him and I got to talk to him backstage. And he actually shared with me what happened when he had the whole Lady Baby. Mm-hmm. Fall, fallout thing that was oh. around the same time yeah that's mm-hmm. why he didn't come here with lady baby because things mm-hmm. were happening b- back then um mm-hmm. so yeah it's it's and and my my fondest memory of that event also was when i was hosting i was cosplaying hanukkah i had to come from the main hall and then i had to run all the way to the exhibit hall because i was performing with my gals from seishin kakume shout out to my idol group seishin kakume hi and uh well we had to perform uh we had to perform two songs from love life and it was snow halation which we're actually really popular for and kaguya sa uh, kaguya no shiro de odorita so there there was that also uh you know the the, the famous yeah <laughs> i really like honkers yes. in that scene bring out your uos clack those uos guys come on come on <laughs> <laughs> i don't have so, uos yeah. i only have hands <laughs> So we clack the clack those hands, <laughs> clack those hands anyway. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's kind of part of that experience as well. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just so fortunate that I have had this experience working with everybody from Cosplay Mania to Boa to Pop Culture Hub, Pop Hub Culture. I don't remember the the one during uh, Metro Manila Book Fair. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's been such a lovely experience hosting conventions and, and, and you know, entertaining audiences as well. And yeah, um, apart from that, we also got to do some quizzes, like anime quizzes with Animax. I remember really I remember you dared the most sa Animax, mm, especially so with the quiz. Ne. Yes, especially when you were donning, uh, uh, was it uh, Ochako? Oh, so you ne, Ochako. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And, uh, you know, uh, My Hero Academia was uh, big at the time. So it was so funny when there was a giant, giant, giant BNHA uh, cosplay group. And then they all came to the booth. And it was just all BNHA cosplayers and me. And then doing the the, the, the quiz. It was so fun. <laughs> yeah, it was great. So you'd probably see me at conventions either hosting anime events or with my group station Kakume. So yeah. <laughs> and nowadays, yun ya, um just before all of these things happened, you know, you going back to the other dimensions, us suffering from this pandemic. Yes, mm-hmm. suffering. You know, before all of this happened, you were everywhere, almost everywhere. So how do you maintain that energy? Um, everybody tells me that I'm super energetic and yeah. I'm so hyper. Mm. Like when they meet me IRL, I just kind of vibrate in place because I'm like, because like parang, I'm just high off the energy of life in general. And I'm an extrovert. It makes sense. I'm an extrovert. I, I, I'm people powered. So I'm the most powerful. It's like Kanagi. 
you know kanagi it's like she's like like goddesses are powered by 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 their by their fan base <laughs> kind of like that so when i'm in a space with a lot of people i just go i just go hyper speed you know <laughs> so it's really like that i don't really think i have a particular secret um co- apart from coffee coffee's great i am a coffee snob i really like good coffee shout out to my special uh f- especially favorite coffee places like Tobias Estate and Candid Coffee sponsorship naman baka naman <laughs> coffee review by VTuber girl let's go <laughs> <laughs> possible possible <laughs> possible this one eh? uh-uh. anyway so so yeah it's i i just am really an energetic person in general though honestly i'm going to tell you the truth right now like i haven't been out because of the pandemic in a long while and even just going to the voice acting studios to dub has gotten me pretty tired, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, for, yeah. For, for a lot of it, reasons? Yeah, for a lot of reasons. But, I mean, even just a short three-hour session, because, like, it's a pandemic. So, I guess you're kind of low-key stressed thinking about, like, oh, my God, am I going to get Rona today? I hope I don't get Rona today. Am I going to get Rona today? So, I get really tired after that. It's not like pre-pandemic where it's, like, you're just free. And can you imagine being at convention, sharing food with people and breathing in the same space as people without masks? Yung, yung mga tipong parang, I remember the first ever cosplay mania. Tapos parang, ang daming tao, siksikan. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yung parang feeling mo na pagtatalon ka, hindi ka nababasag. <laughs> sa, 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 sa ano, <laughs> your feet aren't going to touch the floor anymore. <laughs> that kind of a feeling. Oh my God. Uh, old old anime boomers are, I'm going to tell you about the time I remember back in my day. Uh, you young whippersnappers are so lucky tao bowing all of your costumes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, meanwhile, uh, there's there's th- these people who create costumes out of boxes. Like some some guy donning Gundam that says Gundam over it. Oh my god, yeah, that was the time. Yung parang may mga pupunta ng anime con. They'd come to the anime conventions, buy their materials at National Bookstore, and then join the cosplay competition on the same day. On the That's spot. impressive. Yeah. That's impressive though, those, honestly. Those are the days. I haven't seen that. Yeah, but so I did many. see someone having a box cosplay of SMX Convention Center. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Hindi that ko pa happened. Yun. When was that? <laughs> that was a long time ago. Long time ago. Uh, he's too big for it. Uh, I mean, he's oh. the, the costume's too big for, you know, para I, magsisingit uh, from left to right, you know. That's true. No, yeah. no. I think ibig sabihin the when props. the Voltus 5 live action comes out, meron magka-cosplay ng Camp Big Falcon, right? I may or may oh, not dear. remember if someone really? cosplay Camp Big Falcon. And if Seriously? they do, and if they do, uh, I can imagine. I can imagine the struggle oh is real. Boru tesu faibu ni subete wa kakete. We're lucky talaga that uh, Voltus 5 has been ingrained into our minds and our hearts to the point that in the, during the Voltus 5 run, uh, Mitsuko Horie, uh mm. yeah, yeah the one who sang the theme song went here sang with us and uh, you, what do you know uh the, the last the last the first time i uh i saw mitch kohorie was during uh the true photos of that uh, voltus pipeline but not with the 1980s uh re, uh re remaster of a special that's uh, remastered by Fanboy Films. It's on it's on YouTube. Hopefully, it doesn't get taken down. Wow. I yeah. hope not. It like, is, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, sadly, some fan material in the idol spheres have been taken down by people due to so and so problems. But I can't mm-hmm. go into that detail. But mm-hmm. yeah, no, I hope that it stays on. Honestly, like I know that there's also a toy. Toy? Yeah, the toy, the toy, yeah, the toy, shogaku kan, who else? You know, yeah, okay, yeah, we can, yeah. we can the talk. People that are taking down people, but yeah, no, we can, honestly, it's, it's. We can talk about uh, how closed cool Japan is at length, but. But yeah, no, is is the, do you have any other questions for me apart sure. from 
my long repertoire just yeah. to introduce myself fully i guess like since i didn't get to initially like so yeah i'm kira kira cat i'm uh i'm 100 maho shoujo part-time vtuber and real life scuffed degenerate idol girl from the philippines <laughs> let's go let's go kira kira kalat <laughs> hashtag anyway um so uh i also voice act i also work in games and with content creators as an as an artist um i used to work at uh, in game development and now i stream i stream a lot as a freelancer i do a lot of art for vtubers i used to do i, I used to art direct some like like videos and commercials as well i'm mm-hmm. also a content creator and i am i'm also an idol like i said from the group station kakume there's there's a lot that i like in terms of uh and in terms of art, like currently I'm getting, I'm trying to get into uh, modeling and commercials and acting, like theater and stuff like that. Mm. So that's something that's always been a passion of mine is like, I'm, I've always been a frustrated theater kid. Kind of the point of why I really like cosplay is kind of, you know, you act as the character and you embody the character. So it's like to a certain extent acting as well. That's kind of how I was. I mean, that's kind of also how I got into voice acting to begin with. It's because I've always really liked to, you know, copy my favorite characters' voices, emulate certain characters. And it's it's honestly been great. Like streaming and vtubing and everything yeah also shout out to my wife my wife my wife ishi tanuki who made my lovely model like do you want to see the full model by the way sure 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 why not okay all right here uh let me let me show it to you uh all right so let me just like do you want to see something like like so this model is based off of like something that i have irl as well which is an outfit that i have irl yeah. So I I designed this outfit with Kanamori Designs, mm-hmm. and it's basically based off of an IRL outfit that I have as well that we got Kana to make. And so basically how, how this model is, is how I am in real life as well. So you can see that there's a lot of detail to this model that my yes. my wife my wife and Kana also lovingly made. Um, the, the, the picture of the texture for the clothes are actually the same. Sempre since cosplayer ka attention to details, diba? Like mm-hmm. everything is there and everything. Mm-hmm. So you want to see something funny? <laughs> mm, that will be for yeah. our viewers on YouTube. Sure. Sure. Okay, here. So <clears throat> I don't want to be, I don't want to be human anymore. I want to reject humanity and return to monkey. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I can bounce around with this model this much. <laughs> I like this model a lot. It's it's it, it moves it moves around a lot. It so represents it's really you nice. very well. Yeah, it does. I think it embodies all of my um energy and my bounciness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, um, in that in that regard, uh, okay, we'll proceed uh, with the rest of the questions, and then we get uh yeah we get we get to know you more, you know. So before everything else, you you, for, you mentioned earlier you're an otaite. So you did you did cover songs before, right? Yeah, I did some cover songs back then. I wasn't really consistent with it, but now you know instead of otaite, most people are V singers. Oh. Like I really genuinely, legitimately think that VTubers are just basically the natural evolution of the Vocaloid and otaite community. Because People in the Otaite community had their own avatars, their own characters, like sin, like you know, like mga senpai, senpai dati, like sina M's and etc. And um, you know, it's it's just basically how people are now. Like parang that's kind of the natural progression of things, like with Vocaloid and and Utaite as being the way that they were. I feel like the the there's a lot of commonality in those two cultures, you know. So. Yeah, I do sing a lot now. Like, I'm coming up with a lot of covers, especially on my birthday, by the way, which is coming up on February 28th. I have a lot of special songs coming out, including my first ever single and my first ever original song that I wrote myself and that Haru, uh, Haru P, uh, composed. And Haru P is known for, you know, Idol Sozai stuff mm, or mm, Hoshizora mm. project. So mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm really like they even have some songs on Cytus and stuff. So they're really talented, and I'm so fortunate to be able to work with such a wonderful producer like that. <laughs> you mentioned yeah. Idol Sozai. My memory suddenly 
uh, went back flashback to that time where they were playing their breakthrough single and the, the other breakthrough single that uh, they really performed live with the Manila Idol Masuri to the verge mm, of tears. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> diba, I remember? miss them a lot. But it's okay because everybody gets a second chance. Yes. In, of and I know that the girls are happy where they are right now. Yes. You know? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, okay. Now, regarding this, uh, no, well, we, we talk about the uh, collaborations. For example, uh-huh. you're a VTuber too. So, if you were God, who would you like to collaborate with as a VTuber? Oh my god, Shams, you know, this is really hard. Don't make me choose. Can I choose a lot? You're like sure, my, sure. Like, like, I think the. <sighs> this is so difficult. Like, do you have to pick Niji Sanji, Hololive, Vishojo? In these. I feel like I feel like the ultimate collab for me would be Nyaner's because I was a fan of hers from the time when she was big on like YouTube, you know, like. <laughs> Let's remember her <laughs> with the tiny salmons. <laughs> tiny tiny salmons. salmons. Running down the stream or something like that. Ano? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, like I was so proud of her when she got to have like that Kizuna I collab in concert as well. Yes. And she had her first song. Oh, oh, She's well, into Vils too, sort of together with Silver Veil and Iron Mouse. Mm-mm, so you ne. Mm-hmm. Like out of all of the Vishojos, like I, I, I like Nyaners the most. And then in in uh, Holo Live, oh man, <sighs> Sweet Say. Sweet Say is so good, of course. Of course. Or or actually, I feel like my energy would, ma- would match uh, Ano. Would match Marion more. <laughs> I was uh, I was thinking Oli. Oh shit, Oli. <laughs> yeah, Oli's also chaotic as fuck. Yes. Like she, she, she's intense. But I think I'm kind of leaning more towards 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 Marina because I'm Holly. <laughs> she- <laughs> she- <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, no. Um, actually, my favorite VTuber right now, like the one that I really would like to collab with the most, is not actually from a big a big agency. Oh, Millie is also fun, by the way, yes. <laughs> from Niji Sanji. But my favorite is 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 oh my god, is Ike right now? I think not, yes. Everybody Ike. likes Ike. Ike. Everybody likes Ike. <laughs> he's the reason why I went to IKEA and ate Ike. Swedish meatballs. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, can you just think about his name just being Ike because of IKEA? You know, it's like, yeah, it's very. <laughs> it's so funny. That's very anyway. Yeah, yes. Skull. Anyway, but yeah, no. Um. So there's that. But yeah, no. I, I would really love to collaborate with um, uh, this VTuber named Kana De Mimi, who's a really fantastic singer. She's amazing. Like she sounds like Utada Hikaru actually. Ooh. If you've ever looked her up, she's so good. Like I'd love to. She's she's the one that I would really love to collab with. Actually, if you think about it, like the top two that I'd like to collab. With his nyaners and 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 kind of the mimi and they're both pink cat girls and I'm just like my bias yata ako oh, my nga. type yata ako my Mukha bias nga. yata ako nga. so yun ne eh. but but yeah no I mean apart from that I mean there's 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 also um you know Ike and and uh Shellin and they have Megane 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 wait actually you know what. <laughs> Can can I do that Fubuki speech about Megana? Because it suits me so well. Sure. <laughs> oh uh, my let's god. Ha- no. Let's let's I, have the script I, on the text for, for the, all the YouTube viewers. Yeah. Yeah, for the people who don't know who I am, I'm I love Megane. I live and breathe Megane. I'm I'm basically Aki Hito Kanbara from Beyond the Boundary. I fucking love glasses. Cute girls with glasses, men with glasses, just glasses on everybody because I believe that glasses Zehi glasses supremacy, okay? Alright. So let me just get this copy pasta from Fubuki. Wonderful, wonderful, blessed Fubuki, okay? Mm. Alright. And you're looking at someone who's member of the Mega Nibu, actually. 
So you ne, so you ne. Like it's it's just be- it's because like ito yung ito yung global world domination ko eh. Like since everybody has like phones and 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 computers now, everybody's eventually going to need glasses. You don't have glasses? Didn't you know that you need glasses because you need a uh, blue light filtering protection for your eyeballs? That's right. That's right. You viewer over there not wearing glasses, you actually need these things so you don't go blind. That's that's basically my selling point. So pumunta na kayo na own day. Or, or or your favorite Megan store and you know own days bakit naman gusto mong sponsor but but get some glasses right there you know <laughs> all right <clears throat> okay three two one action Glasses are really versatile. First, you can have glasses wearing girls take them off and suddenly become beautiful. Or have ga- girls wearing glasses flashing those cute grins. Or have girls stealing the protagonist's glasses and putting it on like, haha, I got your glasses. That's just way too cute. Also, boys with glasses. I really like when their glasses have suspicious looking gleam. And it's amazing how it can look really cool or just be a joke. I really like how it can fulfill all those abstract needs. Being able to switch up glasses and styles and colors. Or glasses being based off of the mood is really fun too. It's actually really so much fun. And you can have those half frame glasses, those thick frame glasses, everything. It's like you're enjoying all these kinds of glasses at the buffet. I really want Luna to try some or Manny to try some to replace her eye patch. We really need glasses to become a thing in Hololive and start selling them from Holokomi. Don't you think we really need to officially give everyone glasses? Whew. And to Shee! think and to think that Shee! Fubuki all, uh, does have uh, like merch related to glasses right yes yes they do they do have it i forgot the name of the glasses store but they do a lot of anime collaborations for the glasses as well and it's just really impressive like they've done stuff for toho as well and everything i forgot what the name of the store was but then you can link it somewhere yeah. i guess if you really wanted to <laughs> check out the whole live glasses so you so anyway so i'm really i just it, it's because glasses make people look so smart. <laughs> well, true, true enough. <laughs> That's true. True enough. So yeah, um, let's move away from the glasses and let's move on to the the worlds. Okay, we go back. I always go back to the multiverse, the meta. Or I was I was saying metaverse. No, sorry, the multiverse. The the yeah, something like that. So to you, I remember Hannah Montana or something like Lizzie McGuire. You know the Disney Channel mm, shows. So, how does it feel that you live the best of both virtuality and real worlds? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So it's just, you, you mean you mean like this, like 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 like. This is the best of both oh, worlds. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 been great for me. I know that you guys are scared of breaking my immersion. My immersion is broken. Oh no. But like I just wanna prove to everybody that us anime girls are are also real ningen or real human beings as well. And we have likes and dislikes, and I feel that that makes us relatable. Like, you know, you have to think about it. Like a lot of the top VTubers like also have a sort of like a like big VTubers, for example, like Bunny, 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 Bunny Gif. Gif. Yeah. Mm, or like Susu, Susu. Like they've had they had VTubers and they have their IRL stuff and they have their VTubing stuff. So why can't why can't why can't I, right? And for me, I can't really separate myself from who I am. I think I'm already an interesting character. I don't I don't need to like make up something to make myself interesting i think i'm already really plenty interesting enough as it is like with the amount of things that i do and the things that i cosplay and the things that i say yeah nah i i'm, I'm just honestly authentically a real magical girl i think with mm-hmm. how many things i do and how many outfits i change into on a daily basis for cosplaying and mm-hmm. stuff like that mm-hmm. and, and to so think yeah. and to think uh, we can already consider you a renaissance woman uh, yeah, basically, I love all forms of art. I'm, I'm basically a modern Renaissance woman. You're right. Some people have described me that before. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I see. You've been to everything and anything. Eh? It seems. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. Like from advertising to animating for season one of Rick and Morty, uh, like uh, just a bunch of things, really. Oh, honestly. Mm. Mm. So, ikaw yung cultural expert ng Pilipinas to other countries. That's, that's why you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Med- medyo iba yata yung iniisip kong cultural export. Pero sure, let's go with that, diba? <laughs> mm-hmm. Kasi, kasi no, uh, you know, with all of these, uh, with all of, all of this portfolio that you shared to us, eh, kahit, kahit ipakita mo lang yung profile mo, they, people, people, are approach, people will approach you eh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, 
I, I, I hope so because I, I don't want to come across as intimidating to people. Mm-mm. Like maybe some people are kind of daunted or scared to talk to me, but I just yeah. want everybody to know that I'm really friendly. And if you see me at anime conventions, I talk to basically anybody <laughs> and everybody. Honestly, yeah. Mm-hmm. And honestly, the first time I see you in person in your mortal form, I was really distant away from. From you know how how distant I was, I was wide distant. Because I I can see I can see you're enjoying yourself, but meanwhile I'm here lurking around and all that. And yeah. And 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 regarding you know going back to the real and virtual worlds. So what are the challenges you had to face as someone living in both worlds, and how did you overcome it? Oh, uh, well, uh, I feel like in this day and age. If I appeared in a convention, like, as my VTuber, they'd be like, who are you? What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm cosplaying my VTuber, or I am my VTuber? I'm not sure. But uh, definitely, like, one of the challenges for me was just coming up with a unique look that I feel people can have, like, you know, as a designer, as an artist and a designer, it's very important to me, the aesthetics of things. It's not just because it looks pretty, but I also had to think about, like, oh, the colors and the branding and how how it comes across, the silhouettes and everything, so that, you know, when the people first see you, they're like, ah, oh, that's Kira Kira Cat, you know? That sort of thing. It's really... It's really, really thinking about it to the depths of the core of it was very difficult for me to come up with a debut. Like having the look, having the feel and everything and having it consistent with who I am IRL. Because, you know, not a lot of people can just like make stuff up. But I'm, I'm, I'm basically being me authentically. So how do I bring this authentic experience into my brand and as a VTuber as well? So that's kind of one of the things that was the most difficult for me is having a mix and blend of that sort of sense of surrealism with also my, 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 the, the reality or the realness or the authenticity that I have as a person, you know? So in that case, uh, the challenge is to move to the, to, to the multiverse and then uh, from from one I one can to one, yeah. I want. Yeah, if you th- <laughs> if you think about it deep, very deeply, no. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. It's, it's, it's so that the multiverse unlocks all possibilities, and that's exactly why I'm here, and that's exactly why I can travel between both realities or more. Like I can travel into other VTuber spaces as well. That's kind of how I I think about it in my head, because each VTuber has their own universe, right? So since I collab with them and I travel with them and I I, I talk to them and stuff, that's basically me spanning across the multiverse, being able to reach out and touch lives and inspire, which is basically what I want to do. Like this 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 part this is just a screen. This is just a screen. But I can reach you beyond that screen, you know? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in that regards, okay, I'll throw this question off the bat. Have you met the multiverse monarch? Oh my god. Yeah, no, actually when when she came out with her concept, I was already in the concept with mine. So it's like uh, I am Okay, so fun story. I used to be in a, in an indie studio called Studio Contrabita. And I've actually spoken to Amelie before. She's so nice. And she's so sweet. Mm. She used to voice a character for an indie game that we were working on mm. for uh for 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 the game in, in Contrabida. And at the time, like I guess I, I, I sort of regret not being able to talk to her more. Apart from that, but I, I ch- I'm so happy to see her flourish and thrive. I, I'm actually quite a big fan of hers as well for all of her song covers and things like that. And her voice acting is fucking amazing. So I, I, I really look forward to seeing my dress up darling in English, actually, <laughs> because of her, you know, <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah, I have heard of her. I, 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 I have followed her on YouTube for quite some time now as well. I really adore how she can bring life. Uh, bring to life like English covers of songs, which is something that I'm trying to do as well, like my own sort of spin onto things. So I I am hoping that one day Senpai will notice me again. <laughs> so you know. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in that case, uh, I leave it to you if you would like to share a message to the Multiverse Monarch soon enough, maybe on your own or maybe on Twitter, <laughs> because these things get may get too you know may may get personal, you know, sentimental and all that. So oh, I leave gosh. it up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't know if she'd remember me, but if I had to tell her anything, I'd, I'd just want to tell her to crush it! Slay it, queen! 
you don't like have you seen how savage she is in her yeah. videos yeah <laughs> yeah like even tiktok can't even handle her oh my god i love it i love it so much like please and please bless me with your sass <laughs> that's all honestly that i want to I want to talk about if ever. Like, I'm not... Like, I'd love to do a song cover with her. That would be great. But I don't think I'm at that level yet. I'm currently trying to learn more into musical theater and vocal lessons as well with my with my vocal coach, Abby. Hi, Abby! Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's such a Filipino thing to say names of people and say, Hi, am yeah, I on the is... tebe? Am I hello? Mama, mama, hello, mama, 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 Nakakita mo ba ako? Ano yung ba yan? <laughs> yes. So, uh, and, and then, matatas na, ma, ma, matatas na magsalita, mga ganon. So, yeah. Asun yun eh. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, we're almost at the end of our discussion. We're almost at the end of this episode. So, before everything else, let's say there's someone listening or watching on uh, this episode on YouTube, listening to the podcast. What would you like to tell them as someone who can move... To five dimensions like like since i'm a fifth dimensional vtuber and i can traverse through the multiverse i i would just like to tell everybody that hey you know the 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 possibility is always there anything is possible as long as you as long as you you know carpet dm it you know like like seize the moment because in, in 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 another universe, you've already achieved the things that you want to achieve. So I'm sure that you can too in this lifetime. Why not, right? So your your path is your own to make. Never forget that it's not anybody else's. So don't compare yourself to anybody else. Just compare yourself to the you that were who you were in the past, and that's the most important part. You do you, and also. You go get that bread. Let's go. <laughs> bread. I like Let's bread. Let's get that bread, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get that bread. Like an anime girl with toast in the mouth. Like, ah, oh, chikoku, chikoku. Chiko- is it chikoku? Ah, uh, chikoku, chikoku, chikoku. Yeah, or, so yeah, I'm late. late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Uh, <laughs> I'm late. Yeah, so in, in that regard, uh, uh, thank you uh, for joining us in this episode. What should we look forward to in this, this year, in 2022? Aside from your birthday stream, right? Yeah, okay, so it's my birthday on February 28th. I'm going to be streaming at lunchtime, 12 noon, Philippine time. And I'm cordially inviting everybody to come over and watch me stream. I stream on twitch.tv slash kirakirakat underscore. And uh, at the moment, my schedule is kind of erratic, but I try to stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and on weekends. Uh, on weekends, I do games. And on weekdays, I try to do art streams as well. Although uh, this month is special, so I've been trying to foray into ASMR streams. I've been trying to uh, I, I'm going to have a maid cafe uh, day where I, I wear a maid outfit and cook and perform and feed chat with my home cooked meals and uh, there's like I look forward to more cosplay slash gaming streams for me as well I really want to tackle near replicant this year and Valhalla uh, which is an indie game uh, indie cyberpunk bartending game um, let's see what else I am also going to be releasing more new song covers on my YouTube and also on Spotify. So I hope you can look forward to that. And um, I'm going to be releasing a Patreon as well. So I hope that you can come support me with that. And I plan on releasing merchandise as well. <laughs> <laughs> Blurst. Yes. All right. So uh, that said, thank you very much. Kira, Kira, Kat. The fifth dimensional magical girl. I have to remember all of your abilities. It's like. Hindi, parang, the, parang, parang, parang ano lang yan. Parang, parang yung sa Game of Thrones, di ba? Daenerys Targaryen, mother of dragons, da- dragons. <laughs> blah, 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 uh Targaryen. Targaryen. Yeah. <laughs> right. Although I'm really I'm kind of familiar with the Western series, but I do not watch them. I stuck to anime. Yeah. It's so good. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Just just to share you something, I know, before we cap up this episode, I already Ooh, got that? the pre order of In Love. I'm in love with the villainess. <gasps> oh my god. This is volume. Yes! This it's is exciting. This is volume two of the manga. And I pre-ordered this to fully book. I lampo dumating, although I pre-ordered it last year past September. Yes. All right. So, Yay! 
So with that said, I'll, I'll I'll continue reading this, and then you continue doing your thing on Twitch. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been the 99th episode of the show. Next episode will be a culminating milestone for every one of us here at Keepsakes. Well, it's just a one-man yes. show, but. You know, I'm still proud because for the past four I'm years, so proud of you. thank you very much. For the past thank four you. years, I've been doing this podcast thing. I'm sharing stories. I talk with people and virtual people, virtual personalities. And you know what? I'll keep continuing this until I can. So with that said, mm-hmm. my name is Jagoni. Together with Kira Kira Kat, this has been Keepsakes. And see you yes! in the next episode. My- it's not always about the ooh ooh. Sometimes it's about the ara ara. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs>